For difficult diseases and difficult times, and viruses such as COVID-19, many Tibetan Buddhist teachers recommend the ferocious and powerful healing practices of the Three Fierce Ones. Collectively visualized as Vajrapani Hayugriva King Garuda, this practice is reputed to be effective against even the most terrible diseases and health conditions. Venerable Zasep Rinpoche leads a short teaching on Vajrapani Hayugriva King Garuda. He teaches the mantra and describes how to visualize the healing, both for people with initiation, and without. Before we begin, if you like this video, please subscribe to the Buddha Weekly channel, and turn on notifications. Buddha Weekly, helping to spread the Dharma. The subject of the uh, talk here is healing practice of Vajrapani, Hayagirava, and King Garuda. Uh, in Tibetan word, we call three practice of three wrathful deities, um, Chagdur Takposum Dil, Chana Dorje is Vajrapani, and then uh, other two wrathful deities, uh, Hayagirava and Vajra, uh, King Garuda. So this uh, initiation is very uh, powerful initiation. This practice is very powerful. This practice is very beneficial. Um, uh, so here's a three three deities are combined. You know, Vajrapani is uh, embodiment of power of all the Buddhas. Vajrapani is one of the three Buddha families. Uh, Chenrezig Avalokiteshvara is the Buddha of compassion. Manjushiri is the Buddha of wisdom. Vajrapani is the Buddha of power uh, and healing. Um, <clears throat> so then on top of this, we visualize Hayagirava and King Garuda. So what happens here, you visualize uh, Vajrapani in front of you. So here uh, you see Tanka of Vajrapani on my left side. Um, this, like this, Vajrapani is a blue color, a wrathful one, and he is uh, standing on a lotus and sun cushion. Right foot is slightly bent, left foot is uh, stretched, and uh, in his right hand he's holding golden Vajra with the five spokes. Uh, <clears throat> so the golden Vajra symbolizes um, power and healing, and the uh, Tibetan word is the Dorje, Sirje Dorje. And the left hand is uh, is in the mudra, he's not holding anything, but he's in mudra of what we call in the Tibetan word is Dingzup, 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 which means a training mudra. Uh, what he's doing is that uh, he will um, stop creating negative forces, negative karmas. And he is showing the mudra to us, saying you should stop con continuously this creating bad karma and non-virtues. And otherwise you will suffer and others will suffer. We have to stop the unwholesome karma and obstacles. And otherwise, results of bad karma, then we will have disease, an epidemic, and a virus like a coronavirus now threatening the world, right? So, uh, world community. So, this is why he's holding, he's got this mudra, like warning kind of mudra, right? And um, then he's got wrathful expression, th three eyes, as you see. And he's got orange, reddish hair up, standing upright, looks like a flame. And uh, he's wearing uh, five skulls and wearing silk garments and uh, tiger skin loin cloth. And he's also um, um, wearing snakes on his neck. Snakes. Uh, snake is a, a symbolized healing. Um, now, I should say, on top of his crown, there is the Hayagirava. Usually Hayagirava is the deity um, 
which has a horse head on top of his head. And there's two kinds of Hariyagiro, Hariyagiro Sangdup and Hariyagiro Yang Sang. Um, so Sangdup has three horse heads on the top of his head and Yang Sang has one. But Yang Sang has uh, wings. And so here there is a horse head on top of Vajrapani's head that symbolize Hayagirava. And then top of the horse head there is a Garuda, the bird. Garuda bird, beautiful white bird. Looks like a, almost like eagle or hawk. Um, hard to describe. And uh, But his face is very powerful with a big a beak and the big eyes. And uh, the Garuda has uh, little horns. And his wings are very, the, the Garuda's wings are very sharp. And <clears throat> every feather, it looks like a sword and uh, a symbol of cutting through and healing and so on. So, uh, three, now we have three Buddhas here, right? Three Buddhas, I uh, visualize. Um, so, it purifies Tingdun, Tingdun Zada Jugar Noba, Pardun Senda, Senga Noba, Wodun Lugi Noba. So there's harm, disease or harm come from above the sky and on the earth and then below the earth. And uh, some of the disease and uh, illness, mental illness and what we call dun, and come from the sky and uh, you know above, above us, when we say sky, from uh, realms above us. And then uh, some of the dun or disease and mental illness and stuff come from the earth, you know, bad environment and lots of disease and conflict, war, chemicals and bad energy, bad karma and so many unwholesome things uh, on the earth. Right now, for example, coronavirus, these things are happening and the human beings are suffering. So this is sickness, this is uh, in a way kind of what we call dun. So, I should say a few words about done, and uh, I don't know there's an English translation for done. And uh, basically, done is kind of a negative force that uh, 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 caused suffering. And according to Tibetan text, and they talk about uh, 360 different kinds of duns. And so there are most of them mental uh, kind of illness. And uh, there are many of them also have physical illness. Of course, a physical illness, mental illness, all connected, right? So altogether, uh, 360, which is kind of hard to actually uh, figure out, hard to uh, hard to find out. Well, it, it's not impossible to find out. You can read the text, and but it's a kind of uh, puzzling, uh, mind-boggling, you know, and. Uh, but you can understand there are so many mental illnesses in the world today, you know. Um, we have a big problem today in the world, drugs. And drugs cause many mental illness and uh, what they call uh, drug-induced mental illness. Even teenage children, boys and girls, 18, 19 years old, and already got mental illness because of drugs. And they take drugs too, you know, when they're young unfortunately, and uh, things like that. And also, of course, the, a lot of the mental illness is caused by our unwholesome karmas, right? Everything comes from karma. And uh, according to Abhidharma text says, Lele Njikti Nhatso Che. Lele means le is karma. Lele Njikti Nhatso Che. Then is Simbatang Di Che. And where does the karma come from? Karma comes from our mind. Lele Njikti Nhatso Che. All the world, worldly things, worldly suffering, worldly happiness, everything comes from the karma, result of karma. Karma created by our mind. Then is Simbatang de Che, Abhidharma Kosha by Vasubandhu's text mentioned this. Anyway, so um, so we have three, three, three healing Buddhas here, and uh, they are very powerful. And uh, then, uh, then there's also healing the uh, sickness that is caused by Nagas. So we talk about sickness caused by Nagas. Um, but my personal view is um, Nagas are not bad spirits. Nagas are 
they're not always angry, running around trying to harm people. What really happened is uh, we are creating pollutions and destroying the Mother Earth, destroying the ocean, destroying the waters. Now that's the spirit of the water. We are polluting the water, destroying the water, and pouring all the chemicals and garbages, plastic bags, plastic things going into the ocean, and choking the water. And so the, mm, the spirit of the water is suffering. Naga is suffering. Due to that, uh, we suffer ourselves. Uh, we have lack of hygiene and uh, many problems. We I, need, I don't need to talk about this. So this is a, why, what we call Lui Noba. Uh, or the Lui Noba. And the Dun or Lu come from the underground and we suffer. But it all comes from us. Everything comes from us. We are the cause of everything. So, uh, I mean, our karma, right? So now you visualize three Buddhas. So what you do is, those of you don't have initia initiation of uh, three wrathful deities, uh, then you visualize Vajrapani in front of you on beautiful lotus and moon cushion standing. Wrathful Vajrapani on his head, his horse head, green horse head on top of that, and the bird Garuda. Visualize and then uh, imagine uh, light coming from uh, Vajrapani's heart, light goes up, reaching all sentient beings, healing all sentient beings. Then light returns to the Vajrapani's heart, and also light goes out to all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, and uh, then blessings of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas return to Vajrapani's heart. Then you say the mantra, uh, Om Vajrapani, Hayam Girava, Garunda Hong Pei. This is the mantra. And uh, so I will say slowly, Om Vajrapani, um, Haya Girava Garuda Hong Pei Om Vajrapani Haya Girava Garuda Hong Pei Om Vajrapani Haya Girava Garuda Hong Pei Om Vajrapani Haya Girava Garuda Om Vajrapani Haya Girava Garunda Hombe Om Vajrapani Haya Girava Garunda Hombe Now, those of you who received the initiation of these three Yidams, Tagpo uh, Sundil, then you visualize yourself as a Vajrapani, and then visualize horse head above your head, then bird above your above head of the horse, and then visualize the Hong syllable at your heart, okay, on the lotus and moon cushion, blue Hong, and then the blue Hong is surrounded by the mantra, Om Vajrapani Haya Girva, Garuda Hong Pei, blue mantra, standing upright on the moon disk, count, uh, sorry, clockwise on the moon disk all around, in the middle of the um, middle, in the middle of this, uh, on the moon disk, you visualize blue Hong syllable. Then when you say the mantra, Om Vajrapani Haya Girva, Garuda Hong Pei, imagine the beautiful blue light and green light and white light. Uh, the blue light symbol is, is, uh, is the energy and blessing, healing energy and healing bliss of Vajrapani. Green light is healing energy of uh, Hayagirava. And white light is healing energy and inspiration of uh, Garuda. So three colors of light. Beautiful light, blue light, okay, green light and white light emanating from your heart goes out to all sentient beings, everywhere around the world, and where people are suffering from disease, people are suffering from coronavirus, or people are uh, scared and afraid uh, or uh, threatened by the virus. And the light reaches them, gives them uh, healing light, healing energy. They receive uh, what do you call 
um, relief, relief, and they receive healing blessings, the healing inspiration. Those people who are affected, who is carrying the virus, imagine that this light is reduced the uh, symptoms and uh, strength of the disease, slowly recovering, uh, recovering, or some of the recovering fast. So uh, by the power of the light, right? Power of the light. And by power of the mantras, by power of the deities themselves, Vajrapani, and uh, we make offerings, we pray to them, Vajrapani, we pray to Hayagirwa, we pray to King Garuda. So uh, you um, imagine this way, and they say the mantra, and then you dedicate the merit and, uh, for the benefit of all sentient beings, especially uh, people who are suffering from virus and disease. Okay, thank you. For a more detailed written feature on Vajrapani Hayugriva King Garuda, the Three Fierce Ones, see the information icon in the top right of this video with a link to Buddha Weekly's main site. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the Buddha Weekly YouTube channel. Your subscription helps us create regular content for Buddhist practice. If you have topic ideas please comment below. Buddha Weekly, helping to spread the Dharma. Thank you.